Okay, so we're here working on a Punisher and uh, the client has requested us to tap the head for a PCB function on a big single. Now, um, I have seen and heard and read about some things not really going too well when it comes to tapping these, namely breaking off taps. And uh, these are the little ports that we're dealing with, these little guys right here. Um, they are very, very small. We use a uh, 1024 or a 10 by 32 tap. And uh, I wanted to try to bring some light into this situation of uh, why these taps are breaking. Now, first off, if you can see this, let's see if it'll focus here. This tap is definitely, come on, this tap is definitely at an angle. And when it threads in, it puts an extreme load on the tap that doesn't, um, well, it's just not very happy. Now, I'm using a tap ratchet, and uh, I'm sorry, a tap uh, adapter to go on my ratchet, so it makes life a little bit easier for me. But, let's see if I can get this thing to zoom. Here we go. You can physically see the tap will flex. Uh, I may not be able to show very well on our phone, but, well, as soon as you feel resistance, you need to go back, and then you go back up to it, and you'll feel a little resistance. We'll maybe just move it a couple thousandths and go back, and then tap it again, just a little bit, and go back. This is a very tedious process. It is not something you can rush. It's not something that you can just breeze through. If you don't use a quality tap, you're going to have a broken tap, and you're not going to have a good day either. So we just sit here and kind of stare at it and work it. Now I'm using a little bit of anti-seize. Uh, really you need to use some type of lubrication. Uh, the main reason why I'm not using any type of actual tapping oil is because I want to uh, keep the chips where they're at and we can wipe them out. And then uh, we'll put a little tape around, we'll blow them out and everything will be happy. So we just sit here and go back and forth, back and forth. And as soon as it stops, we just a little bit and go back. If you force it, I assure you, you will break it. So hopefully this helps when it comes to tapping your head for our ABR PCB system. And uh, we'll go from there and then see what we can do to make these big singles breathe correctly and get positive crankcase ventilation. And uh, a car like this is definitely going to need it. These are our Fiera Big Valve Stage 3 Punisher heads that are CNC ported with big ports and they outflow our local our normal uh, competitor that also is doing CNC porting and uh, hopefully we'll see you on another video.